back again with your favorite yoga teacher, Nika Karan. So today's workout is great for you if you're a senior or if you're slightly older. This workout is perfect for to improve on your flexibility, isn't yes, it? Yes, we are going to work on our flexibility, especially flexibility of the hips. We are also going to improve your balance and bone health. So yep, it's really gentle, you can start it and I'm sure you will be able to follow this workout. So let's get onto the mat. Let's do it. You're gonna start sitting comfortably on the mat. You can cross your legs in whichever way you would like, okay? If you feel like your hips are not comfortable, you can always pull up a block and sit down on the block. This is fine, okay? Bring the hands on your knees, keep your back straight, close your eyes, and let's focus on our breath for a moment. Relax your shoulders, and breathe deeply through your nose. Inhale deeply and gently exhale out. One more time, inhale deeply and again exhale out through your nose. One more deep breath in And as you exhale out, slowly drop your chin towards your chest. And let's rotate your head in big circle. Gently, slowly. Rotate. One more round. And straighten up your head. Open your eyes. Let's just stretch our hands in front and we're gonna warm up our wrists a little bit. A lot of times our wrists are not feeling that great when you put too much pressure later on in it. So you can just rotate to warm it up. Alright. And release from here. Bring your right thumb on your left knee, left hand behind, twist to the left. Gentle. Warm up to your spine and to the other side. Right hand behind you and look over your right shoulder. All right, get back in the center. We'll try to warm up our hips gently. Bring your feet together. Grab hold of your feet and see if you can just wiggle your legs a little bit up and down. Okay, in a little butterfly pose here. Good, warming up your hips. And then release. Let's bring our legs behind, palms on your mat, and we're gonna again warm up the spine with the cat and cow stretches. So just place your palms underneath your shoulders and knees underneath your hips. Keep your spine straight, and then gently just scoop your tailbone, bring your chin towards your chest. And then slowly release, roll up. And again, arch your back. And then slowly release. Head and cow stretch is really amazing for your spine. Helps you warm it up, stretch it all up. One more time, arch. And release. Here we go. Straight and flatten your spine from here. Let's bring the left leg to the back and stay here in the middle, okay? Try not to collapse, keep your chest straight and that's your first balancing pose here. Keep your toes pointing down and look forward, breathing deeply through your nose. When you're here, we'll add another element to it. We'll add your right hand all the way forward and to challenge your body and your balance a little bit more. Just look straight. You'll feel your whole core working here. Breathe. And then slowly as you exhale, I'll release. Let's repeat on the other side. Bring the right leg straight up. Toes can be pointing down. Chest is nice and open. Look straight and breathe deeply through your nose. One more. Remember not to collapse your chest here, nice and straight. And let's add your left hand. 
balance trying to stay in the middle lengthening through your leg through your hand balance good as you exhale slowly release from here we're gonna tuck in your toes and gently roll your spine all the way up into our first downward dog Downward dog is great to stretch your whole body. You can walk in one place just to stretch your hamstrings. And make sure that you are lengthening through your spine. You can keep your knees bent if your hamstrings are a little bit tight. Just lengthen through your back. Good, and stay still in your downward dog for a moment. Trying to bring your hips as high as you can. Just breathe deeply, focus on your breath. One more deep breath in. And gently exhale out. Good. With your next inhale, we're going to roll our body forward gently towards your plank pose. Again, shoulders above your wrist, your core is engaged, and then slowly just drop your knees down. We're gonna go gently into your cobra pose, elbows closer to your chest, and with inhale, you can just go a little bit higher, you don't have to go all the way up. Remember to roll your shoulders to the back, lift your chest up, again, strengthening your back. And from here, Lift a little bit high, bend your knees and release into your child's pose. Forehead down, lengthen your spine. Take a deep breath in. Relax. And then slowly with inhale, lift your head up. And one more time, go into your downward dog. Down. Good. Inhale and one more time. Roll all the way forward into your plank pose. Nice ripple here. Good. Inhale. As you exhale, drop your knees down and slowly lower. Good. Chin down. With inhale, lift up. See how far you can go without straining your back. Breathe. Maybe you can go a little bit higher. Really up to you. Open. Roll your shoulders to the back. And then again, knees are down and slowly go down into your child's pose. Stretch your spine. One more deep breath in and lift into your downward dog. Let's repeat one last time. Downward dog, inhale, and then gently roll all the way forward. Good. Strong core here. Drop your knees down and slowly go down. As you inhale, lift up. See how far you can go just to strengthen the lower back. Release the shoulders. And again, all the way to your child's pose. Another deep breath in. Exhale out. And from here, we're going to lift up again into your downward dog. You know, they say that downward dog a day will keep the doctor away. <laughs> That's a really great pose to stretch your whole body. And from here, we're going to drop your right knee down. You're gonna do a little bit of an easier version because sometimes it's harder with the hips. We're gonna bring the left leg forward, all right? And then slowly lift up, ground your right foot. Hands are going all the way up, warrior one. Make sure you're squaring your hips forward. If it doesn't feel that good on your ankle, you can always Point your foot forward into high lunge. Just see how it feels. Hands up. Nice, easy warrior one. Shoulders rolling down. Breathe and balance. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. 
as you inhale stretch it all the way up and we're going to go into warrior two hands to the side release left knee right above your ankle and breathe in your warrior two deep breaths here shoulders relaxing inhale stretch as you exhale bring your left hand all the way forward and down right hand reaching up see how far you can go maybe you can go all the way down to the ground if not stay here okay look up towards your right palm in a nice triangle pose shoulders dropping chest straight stretching that left leg inhale reaching all the way up just gently tilt to the back open up your chest and as you exhale go down into the side angle left elbow on your knee right hand above your head opening the chest stretching the whole right side of your body maybe look towards your palm or straight that's fine and as you exhale, gently release, drop your knee down and try to send your leg all the way to the back. Good. And again, gently let's go into your chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or baby cobra. See how far you can go. Tuck in your toes and go into your downward dog. Take a deep breath in here and exhale out. Let's repeat on the other side. Let's bring the left knee down. Right leg comes all the way forward. Lift your left knee up. Ground the left foot. Hands up. Warrior one. Relax your shoulders. Make sure your body is not tense. Breathe deeply. Squaring the hips. Inhale, lift all the way up. And as you exhale, go to warrior two. Good. Right knee right above the ankle. Shoulders are straight and relaxed. Inhale deeply and exhale out. Straighten your right knee. Inhale, lift up. As you exhale, right palm goes all the way forward and down. Triangle. If you want, you can bring your feet a little bit closer here. Look towards your left palm, keeping the chest open. One more deep breath in. Exhale out. With your next inhale, gently lift all the way up and tilt to the back. Looking towards your right palm. Gentle stretch. Inhale. And as you exhale, bend your right knee. And let's go into your side angle. Right elbow on your knee. Left hand above your head. Looking to the side. Stretching the whole left side of your body this time. Keep breathing, lengthen through the spine, and slowly exhale. Let's release your left hand down, left knee down, and send your right leg to the back. Inhale, lift up into your downward dog. And again, a gentle stretch here, lengthening through the spine and hips. Relaxing your shoulders, pulling it down, away from your ears. Inhale one more time. And as you exhale, we're going to gently walk forward to the middle of your mat. Good. And just fold your hands. You can keep your knees slightly bent and just sway from side to side. Again, lengthening to the spine, relaxing your lower back. From here, lower your hips, bring your hands up, building the strength of your legs, improving the bone density. Easy chair pose. As you inhale, let's lift all the way up. Bring your palms to your chest. From here, we're gonna go to tree pose. So just bring your palms on your hips and bring your right foot on top of your left calf. If you can, you can bring it even higher on top of your inner thigh. And then bring your palms to your chest to see whatever works. Working on the strength of your calves, of your ankles. 
Just breathe deeply, relax your shoulders. Try not to close your eyes, so it will be harder to balance. Inhale deeply, and exhale out. And then slowly, try to reach your hands all the way up above your head. Continue balancing, staying in the middle, relaxing your shoulders. Take one more deep breath in, and then slowly release your hands and bring your palms towards your knee. Try to bring any towards your chest. And again, it might be a little wobbly at first, but it will definitely improve as you continue practicing these balancing poses. Again, breathe deeply, shoulders are relaxing, and then slowly release all the way down. All right. <laughs> Good. And let's repeat on the other side, right? Like straight, left foot goes on top of your inner thigh. Or if that's too uncomfortable, or if you can't find your balance, you can lower your leg all the way down and support. Shoulders relax, straight spine, suck in your tummy a little bit, and stay here, breathe. Another two, and one. As you inhale, let's stretch your hands all the way up, relaxing the shoulders, again, lengthening through the spine, focusing on your breath. Two more. And one and as you exhale drop your palms down inhale bring any to your chest again lower your shoulders long spine and try to balance here again one more deep breath in exhale out and then slowly release again Relax your ankles. From here with inhale, you're gonna go up one more time. Lift your hands up and let's lift up on your toes. And again, to improve the flexibility of your ankles, we're gonna go down, okay? And again, lift up, just on your toes. Exhale, slowly down. And again, inhale, lift up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time, inhale. And as you exhale, let's try to go all the way down. Might be a little wobbly again, slowly. All the way down, dropping the knees on the mat. Let's sit back. Bringing the right foot towards your chest, grab hold of your foot, and right palm goes on your knee, okay? And we're gonna go into a rock baby pose, <laughs> right? Just again, to improve flexibility and mobility of your hips, okay? As we get a little bit older, usually that's becoming quite a problematic and tight area in our bodies. So that's an easy way to just open it up and loosen it up a little bit, okay? There. And slowly release. From here, just twist to the right, look over your right shoulder, gently open your chest. Sit up straight, try not to lean back too much. Take a deep breath in, and exhale out. And then slowly back forward, and let's try to just go forward a little bit. Again, see how far you can go. You don't have to touch your forehead to your knee. Okay, don't worry. You can even have your knee a little bit bent. Alright, that's fine. Just stretching the hamstrings here. As you inhale, let's lift all the way up. And let's repeat on the other side. Okay, right leg goes straight. You're gonna grab hold of your right, of your left foot, sorry. And again, just rock, sit straight, opening the hip a little bit here. Okay. This is how you rock the baby to sleep. <laughs> Slowly. And then release your foot down. Inhale, bring your hands up. As you exhale, twist over to the left side. Sit straight. Twisting your lower back. And also feeling that nice twist in your abdominals. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. And then again, back to the center. Inhale. As you exhale, bend forward. Feel free to keep that knee bent. 
lumbar here and all the forward bends. You don't want to push. You just work with your body and see how far you can go. Good. Inhale one more time up. As you exhale, release. And let's bring our feet together again for that butterfly pose when we are just going to open the hips a little bit here. Okay. Keep breathing deeply. Make sure you're sitting straight. Inhale, stop. And inhale, bring your head up. And as you exhale, try to gently bend forward. Again, no pushing or pulling. Work with your body. Keep breathing deeply. One more. And exhale out. With your next inhale, lift your head up. Let's extend our legs forward and we're going to gently roll all the way into our back. Let's bring both knees to your chest and squeeze your knee knees tightly to your chest. With inhale, we are going to slowly lift your head up and try to bring it towards the knees. Okay, this is a great pose to improve your digestive health. Breathing, squeezing your knees to your chest. One more time, inhale, toes pointing down. Good. And exhale out, bring your head down. Very good. From here, drop your hands down, stretch your legs all the way up, toes pointing towards your face. Okay? If you want, you can do this pose against the wall. It's really great to improve your blood circulation. So you can just hold it against the wall or the way we are doing it here. Okay? So hold it straight up. Exhale out. One more time. Inhale. And exhale out. All right, and from here, you can lower your left leg down, bring your right knee to your chest. Inhale one more time. Bring your forehead towards your knee. Breathe. Release your left foot. Point straight. Inhale. As you exhale, release your head down. And let's just bring your right leg all the way to the left side. And your right hand. Pointing to the right. Look towards your right palm. Get a nice gentle twist on your spine. One more inhale. Gently exhale out. Let's release. Back to the center. Release your right leg down. Left leg comes all the way to your chest. Squeeze it tight. Inhale, lift your head all the way up. Forehead towards your knee. Toe, right toes pointing down. Inhale. And exhale out. And then gently release your head down. Bring your right knee all the way, left knee, sorry, all the way to the right. Left hand reaching out. Make sure your left shoulder stays on, stays on the ground. You don't want to go too deep in the twist. You just want to relax your spine. Inhale, let's lift all the way up in the center. And as you exhale, release both legs into everybody's favorite pose. Shavasana. Shavasana. <laughs> Hands, palms facing upwards, legs apart. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can always bring your knees to your chest and stay here. Or you can bring your feet down on the ground with the knees bent. Okay, whatever is more comfortable. And just keep your eyes closed. Bring your attention to your breath. And slowly relaxing your whole body. Relaxing your head and shoulders. Your spine and your chest. Relaxing your both legs. The whole body is relaxed. T 
take one more deep breath in. Gently exhale out. Gently bring the awareness back to your body, wiggle your toes and fingers. Again, bring your knees to your chest, give it a nice squeeze, maybe rock from side to side. And then slowly come onto one side and gently lift all the way up into the seated pose. I hope you enjoyed this really simple routine guys, you can do it every day to improve your flexibility and your mobility. So yeah, do let us know in the comments below how it goes, let us know what other yoga sequence would you like to learn from Nika in the comments below and you can also check out more yoga videos right at the end of this video and also in the description box. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow Nika on her social media pages. All the best!